imagine a very long water slide. After a while, you just let go of your senses and surrender to the force. My addiction to mindless Bollywood films was like that. All I wanted to do was watch one MBM after another. It didn't matter if my eyes were open or closed. It didn't matter if my brain was functioning or not. I just didn't want to stop. I didn't see any reason to. It was a very dark phase of my life. I had no control over myself. It was as if I was under someone else's influence. What attracted you to MBS? You know, you come back from work with all these pressures, deadlines, horrible bosses, and then to an empty home. Slowly, some kind of darkness starts to take over you. You try to fight this darkness with these mindless films. It starts off with one film a week, then it becomes one film a day, three, and then it's just a non-stop playlist. हालत ऐसी हो गई थी कि कहीं रोड पर जाओ और आइटम सॉन्ग नहीं बजे तो बेचैनी होने लगती थी अगर आपके सारे दोस्त आपकी हर बात में हाँ में हाँ नहीं मिला रहे तो दोस्ती टूटने की नौबत आ जाती थी किसी से भी कॉन्वर्सेशन करिए तो दिमाग में ओवर द टॉप साउंड इफेक्ट्स आने लगते थे हर जगह में स्लो मोशन में एंट्री करता था लॉजिक और कॉमन सेंस से डर लगे I was losing my ability to think and I was not even aware of it. What changed? एक दिन ऑफिस में किसी ने फ्रीवे पे मल्टीपल कार क्रैश के बारे में बताया एंड द फर्स्ट थॉट दैट केम टू माई माइंड वॉज हाउ मेनी रोटेशन इट द कार्स टू इट वॉज देन दैट आई रियलाइज आई हेड हिट रॉक बॉटम So I called up a friend and asked for help. He took me to the person who changed my life, Dr. Anjali Ahuja. She is my therapist, my friend, my guardian angel. Every year I get four, five cases of mindless Bollywood films or MBF addiction, of which 20% are extreme cases. And there are more, but many people don't report it. Many don't even want to admit to the addiction. Classic denial, you know. A good percentage of the young population is not even aware of MBF addiction. Why do you think so? Because it acts slowly and it gradually affects the subconscious. A person may not even realize that he or she is an addict before it is in the advanced stage. So, how does MBF addiction affect a person? As I said, it affects the way a person thinks. and gradually gets reflected in his or her actions it starts out as simple fun time pass and within a short period of time these mbfs are the only kinds of films one likes and wants to watch in the worst case scenario the lines between the real world and the world of these mbfs gets blurred one loses the sense of reality and starts acting out scenes from such mbfs putting oneself and others at risk why do you think people want to watch these mbfs to escape from the real world a typical day in today's world can be very stressful and it can get overwhelming these mbfs are very similar to their other name masala it can be good for some but in small doses it dumps down the intellectual and cinematic acumen when taken in large doses and the continuous and readily available supply is also a contributing factor tell us about mr pradyuman prakash well mr prakash is a recovering mbf addict and has been a patient of mine for 10 months now his was one of the extreme cases i was telling you about he was brought to me by a friend of his he was in a very bad shape he had lost the sense of reality and was under the impression that he was a part of these mindless bollywood films and when the real world didn't behave according to the norms established by these mbfs he got confused and delusional tell us about the rehabilitation process Dr. Rao has prepared a 12 step program for my recovery and she helped me through each and every step. 
she was there by my side encouraging me pushing me at times even scolding me but she was there all the way through the first step to any rehabilitation program is honesty one has to admit to the problem in order to solve it acceptance is key it takes time patience and perseverance but it is possible i have seen very promising results a case in point is mr pradyuman prakash he has been clean for 3 months now what kind of medications do you typically use well i prefer to call it therapeutic cinema initially i watch a few award winning films in multiple languages with my patients right here in my office once they are comfortable with the idea of good cinema i give them dvds of other films i start out with a dosage of four films per week and gradually reduce it to one film per week in addition to films i ask them to watch old hindi tv serials which had character and substance like nukkad puniyad alpviram such content helps my patients believe in good cinema they once again realize that the laws of physics hold in this world that common sense and logic exist at this stage they are pretty much recovered to make sure i ask my patients to continue to come up with more films and serials belonging to good cinema a few weeks from this stage they are cinematically cured and capable of self sustenance how hard is it recovering from such an addiction extremely hard it requires a lot of will power and resolve and unconditional support from friends and family you have to have people in your life who believe in you who care about you and who still love you no one can do this alone how do patients cope with giving up watching mindless bollywood films are there any withdrawal symptoms like any other addiction it is tough to give up i have seen patients exhibit symptoms such as confusion anxiety restlessness hallucinations and derealization do they rebound occasionally yes patients under my care are strictly monitored and we control the kinds of films they watch but with the help of internet and some not so useful friends i have caught patients watching k serials you should know that just because they are aired on tv and not in theaters does not mean that k serials do not fall under this category they are equally capable of degrading the thought process of a human being did you ever relapse fortunately no treatment ke baad bhi dr ahuja bahut kade nazar aati hai i meet her weekly and keep her updated about my progress i pick a film belonging to good cinema and we discuss this in our office it keeps me grounded and then i have this my recovery totem jab bhi aisa lagta hai ki main sanyam kho raha hu i hold on to this it reassures me and pulls me back was there any other kind of help during your recovery oh yes my support group mbf anonymous outside dr ahuja's office this is the only place where i can be completely honest everyone is there to get better and we help each other get through this there is no judgment there just support and appreciation the 12th and last step of my recovery program is service we reach out and help other mbf addicts and it's really heartening to see a fellow addict leave the life of mbf and return to normalcy how confident are you of your treatment very confident i firmly believe that mbf addiction can be 100% cured we have enough resources at our disposal with the help and support of friends and family we can help those in need at times we will be met with hostility and resistance but we must look at the bright side imagine a world where every film has something to take away from where every film has a positive effect on us at some level imagine a world where watching a film is a rewarding experience that's my dream so how do you feel now shabdon mein bayan nahi kar sakte imagine ki aap doob rahe hain saans lene ke liye chhatpata rahe hain और कोई आपको वापस किनारे पर लाकर रख देता है आप फिर से सांस ले सकते हैं आप फिर से देख सकते हैं यू कहिए कि पुनर्जन्म हुआ है यू नो आई आई फील अलाइफ अगेन 
Every year, lakhs of Indians are subjected to and eventually become addicted to mindless Bollywood films. The production houses make more than 100 crores with films making less sense than a toddler. This epidemic has engulfed the current youth of India and is a major factor in overall degradation of cinematic acumen. The people who pay five times the cost of a meal to watch such films are victims and need our help. There are certain filmmakers, both professional and amateur, who are willing to bring about a change. Together, we can stop the slide and help repose faith in Indian cinema. All that is needed is reaching out. Any messages for other MBA colleagues? Reach out. Recovery possible hai aur bahut rewarding hai. Trust the process and stick to छोड़ना नहीं एक ही तो जीवन मिला है इसको इन माइंडलेस बॉलीवुड फिल्म से वेस्ट मत करिए देर इज सो मच मोर टू सिंग दिस इज अ बैटल दैट यू हैव टू गो फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड फॉर एवरी वन एल्स हुज एवर केयर अबाउट यू वी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड से नो टू एम बी एल्स